are gonna make history today. We're gonna attempt to feed one entire month of work in a single week. It has taken us one entire month to finish that side of the roof. But the question here is, can we do the same amount of work in a single week? Let's find out. So we're getting ready to start placing more insulation over there on the top. We, this week, I don't care what happens, if it rains or what, whatever happens, this side of the roof is gonna be done. Rain is finally here, but we managed to get around, that's maybe 35% of progress in that side of the roof. We are missing a little bit more in that side, we're missing some panels. But this week, this thing is gonna be done, that's the goal. That's the main goal this week, the main focus is gonna be finishing this entire roof, closing it all. And we already cracked the code, I think we have a workflow now because it has been pretty consistent, the weather, the last few days. In the mornings we can work as much as we want, but then right when it hits around 3 p.m. Oh, I almost fall! <laughs> Woo! As I was saying, right when it hits around 3 p.m., the rain comes just crazy. We're starting the day with quite a bit of wind. This is actually a little risky because we need to walk with these panels all the way up there, which is like 30 feet up in the air. And the wind is probably gonna blow us away with entire roof panels, but we'll take the odds, we'll take the risk. Okay, vamos. Ahí vas, ahí vas, ahí vas. Eso. ¿Cómo estás ahí abajo? Okay.
We are going so fast. We are over halfway there. We have done this in three days. All the things, well actually, one, two, maybe two and a half days is what we have spent in here and we are almost halfway there. I think we're gonna be able to finish this thing tomorrow basically. This is it boy, this is the last day of us working up in the roof. We have been climbing this structure up and down for the last maybe three to four months, getting everything ready up there to place the roof on and today we're finishing it. It feels surreal. So we have got all of this done. Look at all the progress. We're only missing these two panels over here and then we're gonna be 100% ready with the roof. So first things first, we need to place the insulation. We're gonna do this piece, which is the last one, and we're gonna just roll it down until the middle, until the first roof panel. Then we're gonna place the two roof panels over here, finish them in the top, because that way it's gonna be way easier for us to place the ones in the bottom later than having to put one line and then the other, because then we're not gonna have the structure of a house to walk over and that's gonna make things 10 times harder. So the hardest part is already done. We finished the ones in the top already. That was really hard, but we managed to complete it and it's all ready. Now we need to focus on putting the last two ones in the bottom over here, which is gonna be way easier. And we have the ladder. I have these two guys over here who are crushing it. These guys are machines. They are doing a really good job.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are proud to announce that we have finally complete the roof of the house! So this is a project that we have been working on, kind of like secretly. We are planning on doing a little garden here in the entrance of the farm. We wanna get this thing used, blooming with flowers and a lot of plants. We got a bunch of things. And if you're wondering what I spend my money on, it's mostly on plants. And to do this work, we got an entire crew over here. We got Iberto who's gonna be helping me do this. We got Mocha over there. She's supposed to be digging holes, but she's not doing it. And we also have Lucy that now is following Mocha. Come on girls, let's get to work. So here it is, this is what we accomplished today. We managed to put all the plants that we got in here. We still have some strawberries there, but th those ones are going to the greenhouse. But the rest of the ones that we got, we just put them all the way around here. We are now just missing some grass. We want to put some grass in here. So that way the water is not going to wash all this thing away. But we need to wait for that a few days. But in the meantime, we got all this done. And all of this is thanks to this guy over there. You guys remember I was playing with water all day? That was a lot of fun. I was enjoying it so much. Really cold. <laughs> what I'm not enjoying right now is the cold that I got from that day from playing with cold water. But anyway, I don't regret it. I will do it all over again. Something that I have seen a lot in the comments lately is that we are overlapping this thing in the wrong way. Some people say that I'm putting the bottom panel over the one in the top, that that is not the right way. I'm not doing it like that. We are making sure that the top panel is overlapped over the one in the bottom so the water can run from the top all the way to the bottom and it's not gonna go through that little gap because there, there is no gap in there. I mean, water is not gonna get through there because it's overlapping the right way. Come on, good boy. Come on, let's go. Thank you. Come on, silly. Good job, boy. 
Good job. Welcome back home. But Sirius is back. He already did his job. <laughs> I think this was like a kind of like some short little vacations for him. So we just finished installing the roof panels. All of them are in the house already. We can say that we are covered from the rain. And the next step now is going to be to start working on the framing for the walls in the front and in the back. And to do that, we need to use some of these 3x3 three three beams. We need to cut them in pieces like those ones that you see over there. Same size, same length, because that is going to be also holding the platform or well, the structure for the floor of the second story, which is going to be at the same elevation as those beams over there. And we need to get started on that now. But these beams have a little problem and it's that they got some rust in the inside. Inside there, there is a little bit of rust which we are attempting to clean by using some cookie cola. We are not, we can't use the name of the, of the real thing in here because I can get sued for that and I don't want that to happen. So we are using it, we are going to pour it inside here, leave it for 24 hours and see what it actually makes to the rust. Right here, come on, come get your breakfast. Hey, my daddy, how you doing? You want some of this? We're gonna leave this one for the nest. How about here? No eggs. All right, we put this one here. We have been splitting the responsibilities in the farm during the past few weeks. Iberto and Enrique are taking the tasks in the morning from Monday to Friday, and then I take all the tasks in the evening. Also, I take all the tasks on the weekends, which is a lot of work, but it helps a lot to keep my head busy and use be in the right place at the right moment. Yo, Ted. Peppa, this is for you. Edward, this is for you. Good boy, Lucy, I will give you one for you too. Lucy, this is for you. Good girl. And Moki, this one is for you. Good girl. Alright guys, let's go! Come on, what? Wait. One sec, okay. We got it, we got it, come on, let's go. Where are you guys going? Choose your spot. Good boy. Let's go, George.
We are starting to get some sunshine here in the land, which is amazing. We need that vitamin D all the time. And during this time of the year, it's really cloudy. It's like dark days and all that stuff. But when we get the sunny and very nice days like this, it just makes everything be 100% worth it. The puppies are loving it. We are taking the sun outside. Lucy is loving it. Peppa is loving it. Right? Good puppies! <laughs>